about Amsterdam eight hours later. We're at the beach. get there around nine o'clock in the morning. So after a small nap, right when we got to Berlin, just gonna explore the city. Nothing like exploring the city on a bike. Just going to the Berlin Wall Memorial, a couple other places. Don't really know what they do, don't know what they are, but I just like walking around a city, biking around the city, kind of seeing what it really has to offer. We are at the Berlin Wall Memorial. And it's pretty surreal to see this place because uh, it kind of killed people around here. So this is the Brandenburg Gate. And this is the road where it starts to Berlin all the way down to Brandenburg. And if you see this fence right behind me, you can usually go over there, but not today. Obama is in town. So guess what? Even though Trump's president, thanks Obama. Thanks. However, they did close off the road because Obama's here. So I can stand in the middle of the street and get this sweet view. Thanks Obama. Thanks. Breaking news in Europe. Back to back, sunny days. Can't believe it. Can't fucking believe it. So this is the third, maybe fourth sunny day I've had in three weeks, so that's a good thing. And it was a sunny day, I rode my bike. I say mine, I rented it, whatever. America owns a lot of things, just not German bikes. We're at the Berlin Wall Memorial. And yeah, at least 136 people died. there it's one of the tower guards that used to shoot anybody trying to escape east berlin to west berlin so when people were trying to jump across the berlin wall or jump or they even use hot air balloons zip lines dug tunnels everything people are doing to the wall they want to build america but uh yeah that's the wall from East Berlin to West Berlin. This part's pretty neat because this used to be an old building that people would escape to West Berlin out of. This was a building they'd use ropes and even jumped out of the top of the building. Don't worry, they had the fire department to help save them catch them in a safety net so it's not like they jump head first. Tower's done. Now I'm about to bike over to the Reichstag building. Apparently Hitler uh, blew it the fuck up basically. Now they rebuilt it, everything's good, and we're about to have a hell of a view from the dome. Free tours. Sign me up. That absolutely looks fun. 
Go ahead. She stole it from me. Biggest elevator I've ever seen. This is another appearance from Frank. We're in the top part of the rice stack zone. And I just went through security, did not bring my drone. I guess with the whole Obama speech coming up, they think I'm a terrorist. See, I should have shaved that beard, and I would have been fine. In two and a half, three weeks, I have not had to take my drone out and put it in a safe, secure locker the whole time. This is the first day. Fuck ISIS. You know how usually you go to the top of a monument or the top of a building, you're like, wow, this is really pretty, this is amazing. This is not one of them. I am so disappointed. I, I paid nothing, absolutely nothing, and I want my money back. This is just... I mean, it looked... I guess coming from the tower is kind of disappointing, but the windows are dirty. I'm an American. I'm complaining about everything. Frank, how do you feel? It sucks. He said it sucks. It's a democracy. We vote two to nothing that this is no good. There's the weirdest exit out of here. Not allowed to make tickets of oh. this uh, security course. Apparently you can't film there. However, they don't let you exit the building. They lock you in a room. Then they unlock the back glass door and then they finally let you out. I don't know if you can see it from the angle that I shot at because I was definitely forced out of there. I got my drone back. It's safe. And there are so many cops preparing for this, whatever the hell it is. Policia! You know, earlier today, I was like, this is amazing. The sun is out, sun shining, warm weather, everything. Yeah, it's not the case anymore. It started to rain. So now we're underneath this tent, trying some real food, real German food. Let's see if it compares back to uh, like a real American hot dogs and hamburgers. Probably not, but. Let's see. German currywurst and a German bratwurst. I really like the fork they give you. Like a small devil's pitchfork. It's like a cut up hot dog with chili powder and a lot of ketchup and mustard. It's kind of weird. I guess the Germans aren't too picky. And time for the Bratwurst. Once again, very tough European bread. Just not impressed with the bread at all. Still in Berlin. About to go inside the memorial for murdered Jews in Europe. There's so many blocks and pillars, and it's supposed to set up and represent almost like the maze that Jews had to go through and try to escape all the Nazis. And yeah, so it's kind of a somber memorial, but. Six million people died, so it's not the happiest of museums. Never have I been in a memorial or a museum with such a somber tone. Absolutely no one said a word in there. And it's almost kind of frowned upon if you video and even speak in there, so. Yeah, it definitely didn't get too much. On to a little bit happier of a note. We're near the TV tower. And I saw this awesome statue, and you know I can't pass up an awesome statue. Look at that bad boy. Like, how sweet is that guy? I'm at Checkpoint Charlie now. And this is one of the most popular 
border crossings from east and west, Berlin. But mainly, this is where the Americans had some tanks and were about to fuck some Soviets up. Parked our shit right here and like, you know what? No, sir, not today. You're going the fuck home. That's what you're doing. America, baby. America.